Sometimes what we have to offer is not valued, but God can place us in a new situation where our knowledge and skills are embraced. Luke points out that the success in Paul's Corinthian mission and God's affirmation led Paul to extend his mission of proclaiming the good news to Syria and Ephesus. Today's key verses read, Then spake the Lord to Paul in the night by a vision, Be not afraid, but speak, and hold not thy peace, for I am with thee, and no man shall set on thee to hurt thee, for I have much people in this city. Acts chapter 18, verse 9 through 10. In this lesson, we see Paul's focus on the mission and the calling he received from God. This focus has taken him further into the Gentile world, and more specifically into the country of Greece. Prior to this, Paul and his companions intended to go into the region of Bithynia in the northernmost part of Asia Minor, or modern-day Turkey. While on their way, Paul saw a vision of a man from Macedonia saying, Come over to Macedonia and help us. Taking this as the direction of the Holy Spirit, they set sail for the Greek province of Macedonia. Immediately, Paul and his companions Timothy and Silas began to preach in the cities of Thessalonica, Berea, and Athens. In each of these cities, Paul received a different response to the preaching of the gospel. In Thessalonica, he was persecuted and run out of town. In Berea, many of his hearers listened and investigated the scriptures to confirm Paul's message. Finally, in Athens, Paul encountered a mixed response. Most of his audience rejected the gospel, but a few requested him to come back again while a few others believed. Paul moved as the Spirit led, demonstrating his faithfulness and commitment to spread the gospel were more important than seeking ease and comfort in ministry. Rather than regarding Corinth as a morally desolate wasteland, Paul seized the opportunity to minister to this city's inhabitants with the very grace and love of God that had compelled him to know and accept Jesus as Lord. Priscilla and Aquila modeled for believers an egalitarian paradigm for partnership in vocation and ministry, emphasizing community and companionship rather than gender competitiveness. They complemented each other as tent makers and teachers. Within this partnership of marriage and ministry, Paul found companionship and community among Christians. The response from the Jews in the synagogue was hostility and opposition. They formed an organized resistance against Paul and insulted him. This caused Paul to shake his clothes and give a disclaimer of responsibility for their souls. They have heard the word and now will be accountable to it. This is definitely the course of action we need to take when confronted with those who refuse to hear the gospel. In the vision, Paul hears the Lord encourage him not to be afraid and to continue to preach the gospel. God is with him. No one is going to harm him. And the Lord has many people in the city ready to respond to the message of salvation. Sometimes God is working with us in circumstances that may not seem favorable. But it is our job to continue to preach the word. There are people who need to hear the message, and God has already prepared their hearts. Here's our lesson. Preaching the gospel is often seen as annoying and offensive or as someone imposing their beliefs on another. But far from it. As Paul preached and taught, he appealed to the reason of his audience while also acknowledging their freedom of choice and personal responsibility. He was a man with a single-minded focus because he believed God was at work in the hearts of those around him. This ought to encourage us to pray and ask God to give us eyes to see him at work in assurance that he is with us to equip and protect us. Whether at work or a softball game, we may be presented with opportunities to share our faith. We can also pray for others in new and challenging situations. We can pray for them to keep their eyes open and their hearts focused on the one thing that matters, the good news of Jesus Christ. Thank you so much for listening and subscribing to iLights. May the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus.